All right, we're filming again. Well, we were filming that whole time, right? Yeah. All right. So, you guys are live with Artie. Artie's going to ask you some questions about what you're making or what you want to make. Okay? Okay. So, so ask him a question. I have to start here. What you working on? Brown the down, boy. What is it? Yeah, three stages. So tell Arlie what you're working on. He doesn't know oh, that's crystal. Quartz, that's quartz. I'm working on some quartz and I'm polishing it up. Mm -hmm. Making it look pretty? Yeah. So is this fun? You think more should, more kids should get into stuff like this? We should yeah. be teaching a class and get and get a grant and get all brand new stuff like five of them, and not to mention everything else. I think that's what the rock rollers do with uh, the local club. They're a pretty good organization that way. I mean, like in school. Yeah, it is cool. I wonder if there's a company out there that want to help us set up something like that that's running something. New Tech Skills Center. I taught for three years there. Oh, I'm, talk, I'm talking about uh, like this uh, Diamond Pacific Titan Grinder right here. Maybe Diamond Pacific would be interested in that or one of the other companies that's out there. To sponsor they, it? Yeah, have them sponsor us so we get the equipment out there to the kids and teach them how to do it. That would be go. pretty cool, right? That's what we need to talk about. Yeah. Because as you can see, they'd love it. It doesn't have to be the skill center. I mean, this is a grade school level thing. I agree. What do you think, Garrett? Should this be taught in school? Yeah. So I'm going to try something here on the stones that they're working on polishing. This one here is the one to work out. Let me try something to this. You got a toothbrush? An old toothbrush? Right there. Right on the side there. Are you trying to get in here, bud? So this is part two, you'll have to watch part one where we're drilling the stone. So why don't you go over and film uh, Maka and see what he's doing real quick. Alright. Let him talk to you about what he's up to and what he's doing. Alright. Alright. What's up, Harley? So I'm taking this little foggy worthless piece of crystal and making it all pretty and see-through right now. Nice. You know what I mean? Yeah. Alright. Quartz crystal. 
started out all yucky, now it's starting to look pretty. We'll get all the way to the end. You're like a news anchor. You know how to get the info. Get the 411. 411 of the FUN. A quartz piece for a OC. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, I'm sending you another one right now. out there has any old lapidary equipment that they want to throw our way we'd love to have it working or not working we can uh, repair most things and uh, you know we've got two big systems down here below that work real good I got the lid up right now but we were doing some polishing and uh, when Garrett got out here me and him we're gonna go clean this out with the plan all right you can clean that yep but I gotta undo un it and stuff, so there's too many people right now. Is there any chance we can get this back on here? I wouldn't even bother putting it on. Do my finger? Just put my finger in my right, I'm down with that. Finger it is? Finger it is. Now, so what he's going here is he's going to finger roll a, or, uh, a garnet. All right. So this is Idaho garnet out of Troy, Idaho, right? I think so. All right. You go ahead and get closer if you want. Put that camera right up and on there. There you go. So this is uh, real beating it real quick. That diamond just chews it up. We can clean off the flat lap. You want to grab that flat lap tray and uh, bring it out here? Just a tray, Garrett. Right behind you, buddy. Watch out. Don't spill water, bro. Watch out. It's below you. This is a garnet that starts out looking like that. This looks like a regular old piece of dirt. And then when you start shining on it and grinding on it, and it starts to come out a little bit purple. See a little bit of purple in there? Yeah. And you keep grinding, and you got all this purple right here. What it really is is deep red, and we're going to grind down to that deep red. Uh, that one won't grind down that far, buddy. I know. I'm going to try and make a cool shape out of it. We'll go find some garnish this year. Go mine some. So what I want to talk to the guys down there is uh, the fossil bowl and huckleberry garnet mine. And, uh, see if they have something cool going there. There's some really cool guys down there. they got a thing online right now. Or if you want to buy some garnets, tailings, and some fossils, you can order them online from uh, the Fossil Bowl of Huckleberry Garnet. And you might find some really big star garnets in there. If you guys haven't checked out his site, you should really check it out. 
There's some uh, local people doing something really cool. And if you've ever met them, they are just the nicest people. So, not as nice as you, Sean. Oh, they're, they're pretty nice. Wait till you meet them. Yeah. One of these days. I have a fossil in my room. And uh, you know, if you're looking for another fun adventure for finding some good stone, I recommend checking out the uh, mines down in uh, Spectrum. There's the uh, Spectrum uh, or Plush Organ. There's the Spectrum Mine, which is really a lot of fun. And I personally really had a great time. We won another really good mine. The Dust Devil was fantastic to us. Our family really enjoyed our time with the Dust Devil. And we found amazing stuff at both places. As a matter of fact, here's a little information right now. Artie's going to try to get there in the camera. Keep it sideways because it... There you go. So I got that up there. Um, you know... Get and maybe you're just an amateur rock town and found something cool. I mean, if you want us to take a swing at cutting on something, send me a picture and we'll talk about it. Join us at the Greenstone Tree Dig Handicap and family friendly. through October. Seven days a week, sunrise to sunset. To do the number one family fun. This double mining field or has not been hydrated. The mine is known for its exceptionally large stones, as well as its red slash green, black color watermelon before. And the color things to the stones and family family options. Two big rates are guaranteed. Pay for the color you find discounts to, to restrooms and windows of restrooms. If you will receive the plus pay for the color you find and want to keep run to the belt. The pit belt, to, the belt to the tank at Sunway. Just double mining. In business for 25 years, come and enjoy a Western house. So, healthy. Here, free camping and the clean help here. Visit our website for free dates. Free dates. Travel information and the what? To bring on your adventure, but be sure to call to call the mine for information. And if you want to know if you'll find sunstones, take a look at my hand. I just grabbed out just a small little handful of the giant bag of sunstones we found at that mine. Pretty cool, huh? dropped that gun and I think it powdered out. It probably did. I was getting nothing but mud out of it. Well, they, they tend to disintegrate pretty good, those Idaho garnets. You gotta get a really good one to hold together. This is a piece of malachite with a whole bunch of petrified quartz on the outside. Nice. And I'm gonna try and grind it down to green and see what happens. We don't know what's gonna happen. We're gonna give it a try. Charlie, what do you want to be when you grow up, you know? Nope, not yet. Got any ideas? I say she's got a good start on a documentary filmmaker. Mm -hmm. She's good. We do a lot of crazy adventures and a lot of fun stuff on our channel. Um, oh. If you haven't checked out our other videos, don't worry about it, I got it.
This one's kind of a fun piece here. We don't want to cover cut on it, but I'll get it in the light over here. What is that? A peacock or or nice. It's got every color in the rainbow on it. Is that a polishable thing? I don't think so. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. We're amateurs. We're not experts, but boy, you know what? We're learning. We're learning fast, and we're willing to do something cool with this. So we've done a 15-minute video. It's a little bit of a long video. Go ahead and get the camera up there just a little higher, a little closer, so you can see what he's working on. There you go. Let right. him see what the, what's happening as he's taking the stone. Talk to him about the process as you're going through what you're doing there, Michael. What I'm doing is I'm grinding away, I think, a whole bunch of calcite and a bunch of quartz. I'm grinding it away and getting all down to the color. And as soon as I get down to mostly color, then I'll take another look at my shape and decide how I want it to be shaped. And I'll try to make that shape without making it crumble. It's kind of hard. you got to be very patient. You can't push too hard on the grinder or it'll flake away and break your stone up. Kind of like I just did on that garnet a minute ago. Big shout out to Jared from Currently Rock Outing. You got to yes. check out his videos in Currently Rock Outing. He's got great stuff. Really insightful. We're learning. We learned where to get this malachite from him. Right. And if you want to know where to find it, you got to subscribe to his channel and watch it. But hey, make sure you subscribe to us and give us a like too. We'd love to hear from you. And Jared at Currently Rock Counting showed us where to find these near Wenatchee. Only a three-hour drive. Thunder eggs. Check out Currently Rock Hounding on YouTube. Also, Nick on the Rocks right now is doing a lot of great little uh, talks and specials on the local geology of the area. It's a good opportunity to learn a lot there. And uh, our camera is completely covered with water on the outside of it, so we should probably, uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to wipe it without smudging. So it's got rock juice on it. So why don't we go ahead and call this video over for right now. But thanks for joining us, folks. It's been a pleasure to have you. Take care. Bye.